So welcome once again to this year on the good life. The Declaration of Independence gave us a signature definition of the good life as life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Through Dr. Shriver's lifelong commitment and successful book, he is helping the general public to see how individuals like me have turned our seeming shortcomings into a power of our own. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking and welcoming Dr. Timothy Shriver. I'm just totally blown away by, by, your, by your remarks, Stephen. But uh, when you said that this is a movement that is revealing that you have a power of your own, I hope everyone heard that. Isn't it possible that the moral life, the good life, happiness, as the President has invited us to reflect upon, is just as much about what we really want as what we ought to want? Isn't it possible that the moral life is not so much about duty, but about desire, real desire, the deepest desire, the part of desire that animates our lives? What seizes your imagination? What amazes you? with joy and gratitude. What makes you feel fully alive? In so many ways, the experience of trying to learn about the moral choice, the good life, happiness, has come to me from people who have said to me over and over again, you've got to change your lens. You're not looking properly. All of a sudden, we begin to see the way in which the voice, the experience, the power, of people who see the world slightly differently. You know, excellence isn't me beating you or you beating me. Excellence is only doing your best. That's the only definition that makes any sense whatsoever. The moral life is about understanding that the place where you already are has everything it needs. We want people to do all these things to earn value. The moral life is about accepting that you've already got it. In so many ways, it's a complete reversal of all the things the world tells us. You don't earn anything of lasting value. You've already got it. And until you and I actually believe that, we will never feel, in my view, fully alive.